You're watching the new Stack Makers, a podcast for people who develop, deploy, and manage at scale software. For more information and articles about at scale technologies, please visit thenewstack.io. Now enjoy the show. Hey, Miley, how are you? I'm good. You? Very well. Miley Fu with Wasm Edge. And Miley, you're going to show us some demos. You had two talks that you did here. Yeah. And one on both related to Wasm and Rust. One about serverless with Wasm and Rust using WebAssembly. Yes. And the second one, AI deploying AI agents. Yes. With Wasm and Rust. Mm -hmm. But we're looking initially at something I see here about how popular WebAssembly has become. Yeah. So as I'm showing this on uh, the slide, it says uh, that uh, during the KubeCon that happened last month, uh, it was one of the most popular keyword that mentioned uh, uh, for the, uh, during the KubeCon week. And yeah, uh, yeah. and also it was uh, called by the CNCF CTO that it can be the best runtime for large language models. Yes, that's amazing. Well, let's move into what you're going to show us. Okay. Yeah. So uh, ha I'm having some slides. So uh, yeah. we are focusing on the portability feature of Wasm Edge. Uh, Wasm, like Wasm Edge is the runtime to run WebAssembly. So Wasm is a cross-platform. And once you write uh, maybe Rust code or C code on your laptop, uh, you can compile it into WebAssembly, and then it's good to go anywhere, like across GPUs, TPUs, MPUs, or any uh, operation systems. So underlying devices, you can just ignore it because you don't have to recompile it for anything. Because with a traditional approach, that would be Python plus Docker. Uh, it would require you to do all the different recompilation. It would uh, um, be a, a big headache so that's why we are focusing on the uh, portability. And uh, we are going to talk about uh, Lama Edge. That's a uh, uh, large language model tools built on top of Wasm Edge. It's also an open source project. And you can check it out to run your own self-hosted large language models with Wasm. It's really fast You can uh, and also portable. You can try it out. So I guess I'm going to. Uh, yeah, so this is also some project we are go going to explore with Docker uh, to make uh, WebAssembly uh, really portable across the Kubernetes eco ecosystem and uh, uh, to have portable LLM across different devices. But um, I'm going to show you a demo, I guess. Uh, so that is to show um, it's uh, Lama Edge is the easiest and fastest way for you to run a large language model on your own devices. So I'm going to my uh, terminal. So uh, I can show you what's already on my laptop. Le let okay. me list it. So I already downloaded uh, several different large language models. There are Gemma, uh, which is the Google large language model uh, that he, they open source. And uh, there's uh, this uh, lab, uh, you can see the Llama API server. That's uh, an open AI compatible API server that you can start. And you, if you have already write uh, AI application on top of uh, open AI's API, you can replace it, it with um, uh, what we are going to start uh, later. So it, it will be totally self-hosted. And also you can um, add rag on top of it, or any uh, vectorized embeddings that you want to add, like your expertise, your special domains, domain of uh, knowledge. So um, I will use just one command to start this API server, since I've already downloaded the uh, Llama API server WASM file and the larger language model. So this would be the command. So I will explain what does the command do. So uh, the first one is to run the start the Wasm Edge runtime. That is the runtime to run the Wasm Edge file, and okay. then and then the directory uh, it would be uh, to load the NN plugin. 
that's neural network plugin and the GGML. Uh, so it's afterwards it this is a, a model name. You, so just to ask a quick question here. Uh -huh. So so you're running uh, so you're using Wasm Edge with Gamma. Tell us tell us again what for people who aren't familiar with what Gamma is. Uh, Gamma is a large language model from that's, Google. Yeah, right. that's uh, open source by Google. Right. So they just updated it to uh, a newer version, but we are using the older one. Uh, I think it's long, uh, released uh, two months ago or three months ago. So uh, you can replace, like in this command, you can replace it with any uh, large language model open source uh, hosted on uh, Hugging Face. You can download any of them. Okay. It works. Right. You can replace the name. So that's the advantage there of, uh -huh. of, of WebAssembly then? Uh, it was a match. Would, was uh, a match help, I mean, yeah, yeah, help you with that. But you're with WebAssembly as kind of the core behind what you're doing, right? Yes. Uh, Wasm is uh, the, uh, you can think of it as the uh, Java bytecode that, uh, uh, because Java used to want to realize the dream of uh, write once, uh, run anywhere. Yeah. So uh, Wasm Edge runtime would be the JVM, like the new yeah. JVM yeah. with higher performance, faster speed and everything. So like, that's how you view it. It's the uh, new it's the new JVM. Yeah, better. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because you couldn't run, you you couldn't do that with Java. What you're doing here? Um, not really. I do. Yeah, not. it would take a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So um, so you can rep uh, if you want to try another model, you can just. Uh, Download that model and replace the name with that okay. model. So, uh, this uh, this one is uh, to start the API server. Okay. Uh, that's one single uh, wasm file. That's only two megabytes, I think. Okay, or, so or it's really small. Less than ten. Less than ten. And this megabytes. is the real value. that yeah. Makes the portability possible. Yeah. Uh huh. So uh, the uh, P means prompt template. And then the oh. context context lens. So yeah, I will just try this. So it worked. So the you can ignore the arrow here. So it's um it works. So it's open the uh, local host eighty eighty, and it can be uh, you can use an ngrok to make it a public accessible URL. Okay. Yeah. Let let's try it um, on my laptop. So I already opened it. I can refresh it. Yeah, so it worked. I, I like, I, I refresh it. Or um, yeah, so I can ask it any question. Do you have any question that you want to ask? Well, let me ask a question here. Um, Something about Seattle or? Yeah. Um, uh, what is the median rent for a two bedroom apartment in Seattle, and how does that compare to a two-bedroom apartment rental in Paris? All right. Yeah. So, so the first question would be slower because the it has to load mem the yeah. uh, model into the memory. So you are gonna ask. All right. Three thousand to four thousand a month in Seattle. Oh, it's about this. Yeah, <laughs> it's about the same. So you have your choice of Seattle or Paris. Uh huh. I guess. You guess. You know. Uh -huh. But uh, I guess Paris is having the uh, Olympic Games. It might rise, uh, right? Ah, right. Yes, that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause... I guess that could be a cop follow-up question. You could ask it. So what you're showing here is how 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 Wasm Edge is helping you run a, a large language model. Yes, um, it's self-hosted and uh, self -hosted. it's totally fully portable. So you don't have to do any kind of, so like I can uh, copy it to a remote remote machine like a NVIDIA JSON. And actually I could have showed you, but because uh, it's like in it's being occupied, so I, I cannot show you right now, but I can just copy this Wasm file, the API server file. 
and put it on that uh, over, uh, remote machine, and it will just work as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me show you the log. Um, yeah, but uh, I think the log is not enabled, but you can you can um, ask a follow up question. It might be quicker, faster than. Yeah. Um, yeah. What? You know, do the are the Olympics influencing pricing in Paris? <gasps> okay, it's still quite slow. <laughs> yeah, it's still taking a while. Yeah, because oh oh right, it's because my device is a very old one. It's like four uh, okay. years old. Let me show you the. Yeah, so it's like uh, Intel. It's not even an M chip. So Intel, uh, sixteen gigabytes RAM. Yeah. So it looks like uh, the the LLM hallucinated, but that's okay. It couldn't come up with an answer. Uh, I mean, there may not be any relevant information about it out there, too. Oh, uh, it could be. Yeah, it could be. It didn't know about the Olympics. Right. Or, yeah, but you can add your own rag or like knowledge right. in, like around it would that make it easier with web assembly than to implement a um you know, um, you know to implement rag uh yeah because uh, you could use any tool right uh-huh it's a bit uh, on top of wasm edge yeah so uh with uh so, so what what we want to emphasize on is that because at many enterprise customers or individual devs would uh, worry that uh well i get this program working on my machine but yeah would it work on another machine yeah because there are so many in the like AI, AI era because um different kind of mpus gpus and everything yeah so um it's uh that's the a good a big advantage of wasm there so adding rag would be uh, you can uh, vectorize it and uh, like the, your embeddings uh -huh. uh, and to add uh, just uh, on on top of it. I think there are some documentation. Uh, when, if you look um, at our Lama Edge documentation, you can find it. You can do, also even if you find a PyTorch format, um, large language model on Hugging Face, you can also like convert it into GC GGUF format and you can run it. Okay. Excellent. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to show? Uh, I guess that would be it. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. That Great. Would be it. Thank you. So just in review, uh, you were able to use Wasm Edge uh, to, run in, to run the Gemma large language model um, hosted on your own machine. Uh, and you could use any large language model hosted on your own machine uh, to and to be able to then be able to have some control over you know the large language mod large language models that you use, but also the the cost is substantially less or is or is less because of the because the file size is much smaller with with Wasm. And uh, the most important thing is it's portable, so it's you don't portable, have yeah. to recompile or to uh, tune all the different, like glue the Python together or, yeah. That. Well, great. Well, Miley, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.